In the next set of videos, we're going to talk about materials. So these videos are going to be completely focused on material creation in Unreal. I'm going to be using my little checkerboard sphere over here. He's going to be my guinea pig. So before we do anything else, we need to figure out how to apply materials to an object, and that's pretty easy. Select the object, go to the details panel, and then you'll see here you can click on the name of the material, and a little menu pops up and shows you all the materials that are available in the content browser. And you can just quickly pick and choose different materials. And this makes it really easy and really fast to apply different materials to your objects. Likewise, we can open up the content browser itself. And it doesn't get easier than this. You can just drag and drop materials from the content browser onto the objects inside of Unreal in your viewport. So it really doesn't get easier than that. You can just sit here and drop any material you want on any object. And you're pretty much good to go. So let me go ahead and show you how we could do this with BSP. So if I go ahead and create a box BSP object over here, and this isn't a static mesh, it's a BSP. So I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller, just so it makes a little bit more sense here. Maybe I'll go 50, 50, and 50. OK. So I've got this box object. It's got a default material on it. And what I can do is I can apply a uh, material to this. So if I go to the details panel with the box selected, I'm going to open up the content browser here real quick. I'm going to select the material, like this black and white checkerboard material. And let me dock this over here in the lower left to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to see in the video what's going on. So I could grab that material. And I can go to apply material and then click on apply material. And there we go. You can apply material to the selected face. So if I select the side of the BSP, select the new material, and click on apply, and I can apply new material to the side. And the other cool thing is that this supports drag and drop also. So if I want to, I can go ahead and find a new material in here in the content browser. And it's as easy as just dragging and dropping it right on the, uh, the face of the object. So select the face drop the material on it and there you go you can apply different materials to different sides of a BSP object whether it's a box or a cylinder or whatever it is that you're working with so that pretty much does it that's the basics of applying materials to BSP brushes and static meshes